so after months of hype, Hot Wheels Unleashed is finally out. Been playing it all day because I got the Ultimate Stunt Bundle or whatever it was called. And kind of wanted to put my thoughts together and talk about it in a video because, unfortunately, uh, it's not very good. It's actually a really good lesson in bad game design. So the game actually plays quite similar to F-Zero GX. You have these really radical track designs, big jumps, crazy corkscrews, and, and flips and loops and all kinds of crazy shit like that. You have like boost pickups on the track, and there's an emphasis on frequent boosting. So picture just F-Zero GX, but with toy cars, and that's pretty much what Hot Wheels Unleashed is. But unfortunately, Milestone managed to fuck this up in a number of ways, which is just really disappointing, and I'll probably end up going just back to Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. So the core gameplay has got two distinct problems. Uh, because the collision detection is so basic, stuff like wall riding is actually a viable way of cornering. And after upgrading your car, the races are just so fast, it's common for you to just like pinball off everything and not really comprehend what's going on. Far too often it feels like you're just completely out of control, which makes the actual racing experience just not fun. The worst part is, I pointed this out a few weeks back when I started seriously looking at like gameplay footage, and I suddenly got tons of comments from people who have never been on my channel before, don't know who I am, calling me wrong, stupid, uh, acting like milestone shills, that I shouldn't trust my lying eyes. Uh, and in reality, the wall riding and the pinball effect is even worse than I anticipated in the final game. On top of that, the rubber banding is just completely retarded. I've bounced back and forth between hard and extreme difficulty. Neither are fun to play. It seems like the AI can boost whenever they want, they handle a lot better than you, and just, you can put together a perfect race and they will go flying by on the last corner of the last lap. It's just stupid. So, to obtain cars in this game and build the collection, as Milestone talked about in pre-release stuff, uh, you're either forced to buy a mystery box, which is basically just a loot box with in-game currency, or pick from a small selection in a rotating storefront that changes every few hours. Uh, the problem with this, which, again, I like the idea on paper, the game only features like 70 cars. So right off the bat, when you start making use of the mystery box and, and getting free mystery box spins or whatever from going through career mode, you run into duplicates really, really fast. There's also a significant number of gimmick cars, which you're seeing on the screen right now, that often start out with terrible stats and just aren't feasible to use in most races unless you put in the effort and grind out to, uh, to upgrade them to the maximum level, which makes an already small car list even smaller because you just won't want to use these. This also means that if you have like a favorite Hot Wheels car from when you were younger, let's say the late 80s or early 90s or even early 2000s, I can guarantee you it's just not in the game. So there is like a car designer or a livery editor as the sim heads would call it, but there's like no preset patterns like you'd find in something like Grid, uh, where you can make something really really nice by just palette swapping like preset templates. Uh, the livery editor is exclusively a layer based system. Now it took until my mid 20s and constant practice with like Photoshop to actually get halfway decent at painting cars like this in video games. Milestone somehow expects kids and teenagers to pick this up, which is just not going to happen. So as you'd expect. The community database is already oversaturated with just ugly as fuck designs that nobody's going to drive. There's also no reward for sharing your designs or getting like X amount of downloads like there is in Forza. So there's no incentive for like the really good content creators to spend time making a ton of deliveries in this game. So the storefront's just going to be full of crap. A lot of the shit you unlock in this game's uh, campaign mode or that you can spend your uh, in-game currency on is just completely useless. So there's a mode where you can customize like the entire basement environment that you race in. 
And you can do crazy shit, like, every individual wall in every individual room, you can change the wallpaper. You can change, like, the concrete texture of the support columns. You can change what the stairs look like. You can change the color of the door. You can change the pictures in the picture frames. You can put a Statue of Liberty on the kitchen sink instead of a Magic 8-Ball. Like, it's so unbelievably extensive, and there's no point to it. It's an entire mode designed for you to fuck with for two minutes the first time you boot up the game, and that's it. And yet you're, like, constantly showered and unlocks for it, and the game's like, don't you want to do the next race and, like, unlock some stuff for your crib? And I'm like, no, I don't give a fuck. I just want to play with Hot Wheels. I don't want to fucking wallpaper the bathroom. And these useless unlocks continue into the player card feature. So, like, you're constantly unlocking, like, Hot Wheels themed backgrounds, Hot Wheels themed banners, uh, Hot Wheels avatars, uh, Hot Wheels slogans, and, like, none of this matters. None of this has any effect on gameplay. Usually when I find a background in a picture I like, I'm pretty hard-pressed to change it. So when this is one of your, like, main string of unlocks, it comes across as really fucking lazy and really, really shallow. Like, you don't have anything of value to give me. Do they really think a slightly different wallpaper for a customization mode I touched for two minutes at the start of the game is going to motivate me to play through career? Like, what are you trying to accomplish here? So, the highlight of this game is the extensive track editor it comes bundled with. There's just one problem. There is no way to share, upload, rate, and search them like Milestone Zone Supercross the Game or Dirt 5's Playgrounds, where there's this just gigantic database you can browse and just like hang out and download people's tracks all day. This is a problem because the track editor is obsessively detailed. Like, it's actually really well done, and the average person will just never use it to its fullest extent. Those who do sink time into it, obviously, will come up with some really crazy shit. We'll just never get to see it. The game could have had a track mania-like following. It's been completely squandered because you can't browse a database to actually try any of the tracks people have made. There could have been tons of content creators making and sharing tracks and challenging their users to try out their own tracks. Can't do it. There could have been, like, not esports leagues, but, like, competitive leagues of, like, you know, content creators coming together and you know, doing weekly challenges and, you know, the same four or five guys making a whole schedule of custom-built tracks, you know, based around a certain theme or certain track layouts, none of this is going to exist. And it's all because Milestone could not stop shooting themselves in the foot when designing this game. 